Hello again, this is Mace Haroff, the medical sales guy. One question that I get asked a lot from people who are new to medical sales or trying to get into medical sales is whether it's all that different selling to doctors as opposed to selling to people in the general public or other professionals. And the answer is yes. In many ways, it's quite different. Now, the answer I would always give, I'd say, well, for one thing, doctors are much taller than me. See, I'm 5'8". Most of the doctors I sold to were six feet tall or taller. I sold to orthopedic surgeons, and it's almost as if when these guys got out of medical school, they were so tall that they wouldn't let them go into anything else but orthopedics. I'm sorry, Pete, but heart surgery is out of the question for you. You're, you need to break bones. But seriously, doctors are different because they have so much responsibility. And why do I bring this up? Well, when you're going into a doctor's office to make a sales call, the one thing you always need to be sure of is that you have that doctor's attention before you actually begin your presentation. Why is that? Because the doctor could be thinking of any one of a number of things. His life is crisis management. Imagine, for example, the patient that he just operated on whose wound isn't healing very well. Or Mr. Thompson, who fell while trying to go from the bed to the bathroom in the hospital. And the Allen twins, who for some strange reason, both had an allergic reaction to the antibiotic that he prescribed. He's got a lot on his plate, not to mention an office full of patients that are probably still waiting to see him while you're trying to sell him. So how do you make sure that you have his attention? Well, the best way to do this is by being a good salesperson. You have to make sure that the doctor is engaged when you're talking to him. How do you do this? Well, there's a few ways. One way to engage him is to ask the right questions. And I mean the right questions. You have to know how to ask questions like a professional salesperson. Another way is to get him involved in the presentation by actually participating. If you're showing him perhaps a sample or some instrument or give him something which actually demonstrates the service that you're offering. Another way is to tell a very compelling story, something anecdotal, which relates very strongly to what he does every day. Again, if he's not engaged in your presentation, you're talking to the wall because his or her mind will be somewhere else. Make sure that your sales skills are up to snuff before you go out and start calling on your doctors because if they're not, you are talking to someone who's not listening to you. Until next time, this is Mace Haroff, the medical sales guy. Thanks for stopping by and good selling.